Imagine Australia without her magnificent wilderness. World Heritage listed landscapes pushed to the brink. Unique ecologies crippled. This is no fantasy and it will be stark scientific reality if we don't act now. The enemy is BMAD, Bell Minor Associated Dieback. This is like a walking giant making its way across our country, leaving a trail of death and destruction through our forests. Bell Miners, known to many people as bellbirds. The sound of these small birds calling in the Australian bush brings back childhood memories for many of us. Unfortunately, these days, our native forests are under serious threat from Bell Miner associated dieback, an ecological imbalance so devastating the footprint is dramatic. All of the reasons for this dieback are still not fully known. However, we are on track to gaining a better understanding of this environmental menace. A pattern of cause and effect has been established and it has become obvious that when the natural structure of a forest is disturbed, a chain of abnormal events are set in motion. A disturbed forest is quite often left with an open canopy, a sparse or absent mid-storey and subsequently a well-lit dense understory. When the forest has susceptible tree species and the understory becomes dominated by a single plant species such as the weed lantana, the stage is set for BMAD. Bell miners thrive in adversely affected environments like this. They actually nest in the thick understory like this lantana. Let me tell you what happens. Bell miners eat the sugary coating of the psyllid insect, which is found on eucalypt leaves, but they generally don't eat the psyllid itself. Due to the increased numbers of dominant bell miners in a disturbed forest, other bird species that do eat the psyllids have been forced to move on. Result is an overabundance of psyllids which suck the sap from the leaves. This causes the tree to repeatedly defoliate, which eventually kills the tree and ultimately the forest. Examples of this potentially irreversible BMAT effect are now being recorded at an alarming rate and is now being seen in some of our most sensitive and valuable forest ecosystems. From areas of southern Queensland through the eastern coastal and escarpment forests of New South Wales to Melbourne and Victoria. State forests, nature reserves, national parks, crown and private lands, right through to world heritage areas such as the Gondwana rainforests and the majestic Greater Blue Mountains are all being affected. Few areas are immune. Consider the drastic impact this would have on our biodiversity and on industries dependent on our native forest ecologies. Timber industries, ecotourism, beekeeping, culturally significant lands, water catchments, national parks, the list goes on and on. Even though we are facing a fierce adversary, the BMAD Working Group is working towards tackling this problem head on. These dedicated scientists, conservationists, land managers, landholders and broad-based industry and interest groups are taking a united approach with the emphasis on adaptive management trials. These include controlled burning to eradicate weed infestations, splatter gun weed control, the use of machinery, 
enrichment planting and forest re-establishment. As an ecologist with over 30 years professional experience in the field, I know a serious threat when I see one. Bill Miner associated dieback is very real and the damage could be irreparable if government, industry and individuals do not act now. We need your help.